Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Leanna Brinder, News Editor for the International Business Times. Joining me now is Aurel Stevens. She's with Restoration Partners. So hi, thanks for joining us. That's okay, thank you. So to kick off, can you explain exactly what is a virtual technology cluster? Well, by the, the nature of its name, it is, it is a virtual entity uh, where we bring together a community of cyber technology companies. Uh, innovation uh, is the key to it. So it's about bringing together an ecosystem of a large tier one sponsor, who we have as Lockheed Martin, some complementary corporate sponsors, and some industry specialists who help the companies who go through the cluster process to uh, develop and propose themselves to the tier one sponsor. So why now? Why is there a need for a VTC? Is this because of uh, failures across other sectors? Uh, no, not at all. So as, as you know, there are many interesting companies and innovative companies in the UK. Uh, the UK government and by proxy the taxpayer has put a lot of money into uh, innovation in the UK and we felt a need for proper identification of these companies and then getting to an end game with them. So if you have worked with a large corporate company, they can be slow, they can be cumbersome, they can also be extremely innovative. So making sure that that process of bringing innovation into those companies is done properly is what we're trying to achieve. Uh, at the moment, Lockheed Martin, who is sponsoring the cluster, are constantly looking for innovation and we know them extremely well at Restoration Partners and they wanted to work with us on this project. So what are the benefits to the companies who participate over an existing incubator or accelerator? An existing incubator or accelerator will normally be uh, geographical by its nature, so we wanted to make the idea that innovation is everywhere in the UK, not just in one place, we wanted to make it virtual. But the real differentiator, uh, there are two differentiators. One is that Lockheed Martin have an end game. So a lot of incubators or accelerators are about putting some money into a company or they are about taking them through an investment process without really an idea on uh, the destination. So Lockheed Martin have a defined set of criteria that they wish to meet, which will enable them to get their, uh, their clients what they want, and their clients are mostly government. So that's the first one. The second one is that we want to support companies going through this process. So when you're an innovative young company, normally run by an entrepreneur, you find it quite difficult to engage with large corporations. So restoration partners are there to support those companies through that process and importantly not lose them. So a lot of companies that go through an incubator or an accelerator then go and try and create a business development opportunity and they don't have uh, they don't either look or feel right or they don't have the right technology in order to do that. We will help them look and feel right to be presented. If they don't quite look or feel right at the time, they can stay within the cluster environment. They don't have to leave. The tier three sponsors that I mentioned earlier, they are industry specialists. So these are people such as a lawyer who specializes in IP law, an accountant who might specialize in R&D tax credits, they are there to also help the companies shape and mould themselves so they are appropriate, appropriately attired to go in front of one of these large corporations. So this comes as an exciting time because David Cameron on the 16th of January mentioned VTC in his Washington speech. So how has this changed this in terms of developments for um, your VTC? We launched the VTC 10 days ago, which coincided nicely with David Cameron's very quiet, kind comment on, on how successful it should be and what it was bringing to the UK. So in the last 10 days since launch, although we did a very successful pilot over the summer, which is why Lockheed chose to go ahead with this, in the last 10 days we have been inundated with companies who are interested in joining the cluster. So the support has been uh, continuous over the last 12 to 18 months while we've been building the prototype. The pilot proved the concept and now we've gone into the full solution and the response has been overwhelming. Have there been any new milestones put in place in the short term or medium term? There's going to be a programme launch event in the middle of March which will bring together uh, external potential participa participators as well as government links. We have, as David Cameron has started at the top, uh, we have lots of links with Biz, UKTI, GCHQ, the MOD who are all interested in the outcome of this cluster. We also want to bring in potential tier two sponsors. These are the complementary corporate sponsors who work alongside Lockheed and potential tier threes, as well as attracting a wider community of companies. So that's the, that's the short term. And then the medium term will be to recreate this. So the concept isn't rocket science. You create an ecosystem, you support companies and you have an outcome. But we want to do, th do this in other areas. So cyber is very pressing, given the nature of what we're all experiencing, what is mentioned daily in the newspapers. But there are other areas that we'd like to expand into. Well, thank you very much for joining us. That's OK, thank you. That was Oriel Stevens. 
from Restoration Partners. <laughs>